Everybody, it's Harry Box, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Tuesday, the 28th of February. These are the charts of the day. Well, we had an interesting day on Wall Street with a big surge in the morning and then a really ugly finish um, down on the day. And not sure where this is going right now. The market's uh, a little skittish in this area. Um, we'll have to see if support holds or not. If it doesn't, we're going to get another leg down. I was looking for a fifth wave down. We may be in the process of getting there if we don't stem the tide early tomorrow morning. Anyway. AAON broke out today, key technical breakout over triple top. But if you look at the long term picture, this is an all time high, folks. Look at this stock in the last 20 years. Nothing but up. Incredible. But for now, the triple top breakout could lead to 105.10 zone. ACAD broke out of the base today with a pop from 1871 to 2187, finished 2123, up $1.83, almost 10%. Vime picked up to $4 million. That's Vime in months. Looks to me like a stock that could be headed towards 24 and 27. AEHR, one of our old faves, uh, popped and then pulled back today. It was up $1.17, about 3.6%. It really needs to take out the pattern. Your next target is 40 and 43. AI looked almost popped today and then backed off at the declining top sign. But you can see that the wedge has formed here. Should it break out with any kind of energy, it can really explode. Only targets. Um, Target ranges are 27, 29, and then 31. AMAM, a continuing its strong surge, just as recently as the 13th, it stopped trading at a buck 28. A couple of days ago, it reached 739, and then backed off, but it's come on again. And should it take out 739, your target is 10 and a half. ASUR with a breakaway gap, 723,000 for a thinly traded software stock. A clear breakout. And you can see, let's look at the weekly chart. Long term says it's the highest levels in five years, and that your next target has to be upwards of 16. The UPH, long downtrend, breakaway gap, went through the moving averages, ran up to resistance, back and filled for about five weeks. Today, popping 807 to 966, finishing 899 up 66 cents, 8%. Buying picked up to 5.8 million. But the object here is to get to 970. And then you're looking at 11 and 13. Boyle, well, now up uh, for five days in a row with a huge volume every day. If we can get it up through, I think, seven, that should get us to eight and nine potentially. <clears throat> Cardio, CDIO, big move. 359 up 226, again, at 169% on a mere 122 million shares. Now, looking back at the daily chart, there's some resistance here, but your next target would be five and a quarter, excuse me. Yes, five and a quarter if it does break out. Watch this one carefully the next day or so. Seiko, a tech trader swing, the nice engulfing reversal bar to the upside. Almost a million share traded, up 10%, $1.45. Based on the way it looks right now, I have to say my target's 21. On the short side, CI. But with tech trader swing shorts with a drop, a wedge drop, and then a rollover is in wave five, I believe, which could take it down to 275, first target 285. Coin popped out of a wedge as well and backed off a little bit, similar to um, AI, both of which have big sharp run ups on wedges. Trying to break out, it appears. This one may have popped out today, but backed off. Your targets now are 79. And 87. That's coin. Dino is another tech trader swing short, one, two, and then today, if they're snapping back to the gap, but backed up a dollar 40. We need to get to 47, your next target, and then 43 beyond that. HIMS popped out of a wedge today, or pennant, and popped on 16 and a half million shares, 18% or a dollar 75. It's at the top of the channel, may need to relax a little bit. That acceleration could take us to 15, though. INSW broke through a key long-term resistance since, well, multi-month resistance, and now it's headed into mid-channel target at 55, 56, and then um, mid to high 60s. KTB with an explosive fifth wave, one, two, three, four, five, but it was only one bar. That took it from 45 to 53 and backed up to 52 and a quarter, up eight and three quarters to 20% today. Usually that kind of a move can get some follow-through, the next target would have to be 60. 
MNSO climbing up the channel and near the top of it, but broke through resistance today. And that has clear ceiling in my, my opinion until 24, four and a half zone. But you may have to back and fill a little bit here. Any old tech trader swing popped out, pulled back, and today popped again. Only 62 cents or 4%, but I like the way it's looking. And if you get up to 1825, 21 and 24 targets. NGL extending its move of, of late after a, a three, four day pullback, resuming its advance from about 230 to about 359. Target, four and three quarters, 490. PGNY popped sharply with a breakaway gap, created 6.4 million. Is up 21%. Um, closing at the upper end of the range, I'm looking for a fall through to 40 and 42. RVMD also popped out of a falling channel today with a breakaway gap on volume with 5.7 million. I'd like to see you get it for test 31 and a quarter and then take that out to 34. And finally, Swing Trade Technoglass broke out of a flag and popped from 36.71 to 35, uh, 38, sorry, and finished it. Um, from 35.78 to 38, finished 36.71. Up 93 cents. A breakout that tells me we may head to 40.41 my next target zone. Let's look at some of the hot stocks at techtrader.com. And this is HP wishing you a nice evening. Take it easy. Talk to you tomorrow.